Hello and welcome to the quick review and flash guide about the Samsung Galaxy S i9000 flashing a custom ROM Helly Beans uh, which is a jelly bean ROM of uh, Google's 4.1.1 Android I'll show you how to flash and how the ROM looks first I'll show you how to flash you have to reboot into recovery mode if you're coming from a stock ROM you need to root your phone by flashing a new kernel with root access then it's smart to make a backup of your EMI, your EFS folder then you put the ROMs uh, on your SD card in the phone this is how the recovery mode looks which you need to flash which is in the updated kernel when you're coming from a stock ROM you need to first flash the package once in order to get the kernel from the package installed then you need to reflash it again and then you just need to wait and it will work I'll show you how to do it now on this phone it's already on the Halle Bean version so I'll show you how to update it if you're coming from an older one to a newer one first when you update it's always wise uh, to wipe the cache partition and the Delphi cache if you're doing a new install it's uh, good to do a full uh, data wipe and factory reset but you're not going to do that now first you wipe the cache partition if you want to just do the update then you go to advanced and wipe the Delphi cache then you go to uh, you go back you install zip from SD card then you choose the location of the zip which contains the ROM you pick it you say yes to do the install nice thing about this ROM package it has now a graphical installation so yeah first it extracts the package and starts it up and then you'll get some options it's just like installing windows or something just click next 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 and choose the right things this ROM package from Halibean is made for all the Galaxy S series phones so like the i9000 all and all the American versions I have the i9000 so you choose it you can choose a voodoo coral or a kernel or a normal one clockwork mod uh, you can choose the alternative boot animation which is nice and you have some options for extras in the settings menu in the ROM I, you can choose both I just do the kernel manager install it's all graphical as you see it's real nice easy and simple and now it's just waiting a few minutes So yeah, if you really want to do this and you're a newbie, really do it and back up your email and yeah, it's uh, the EFS folder, do some reading on it, google it, look on the XDA developers website forum, I mean, yeah. And yeah, read well before you flash because you can ruin some things, like you can you, uh, lose your email and it's not nice. And on the other side, you don't really have to be scared to ruin your phone because you can always uh, flash back uh, a stock ROM and from there you can try it again. But it's really hard to really break the phone. You can always go back to download mode. Now there's just some more waiting. I've been running this uh, Halle Bean version ROM for a few weeks now and it's good for daily use, it's very stable. It's fast, it's said uh, Samsung doesn't give us updates, they say it's not possible but Android 4.1.1 works really fine.
it's nearly done Reboot device. The screen is a little bit too bright for my crappy webcam. I don't have any better recording equipment at the moment. But it's supposed to be all red. Uh, Android pup. The first boot always takes the longest because it's still installing and updating the kernels and ROM. I guess it recreates the cache you just wiped. It's always good to do this when you have a new kernel. Then on the first boot it starts to update all the stuff. And yeah, by the way, uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, it doesn't really uh, yeah, support Flash anymore, but if you have the APK, you can still install it and it will work fine, although they say it doesn't support or work on 4.1.1. I'll show you in a minute when it's done updating. Good, now it's done. I'll enter my password. Ooh, it's top secret. Ta da! This is just right after installing the ROM. Wi Fi is on. Go to a website. It all works real nice, smooth, and quick. Close the browser. The app drawer is quick and responsive. It's real nice. I'll show you the version as they always do in the videos. Like, ooh, it's amazing. Yeah. 
Android 4.1 Uh, where was the jelly bean trick? I don't know. Oh, this is the one. Never tried this before. Anyway. Uh, yeah, what else should I show? <laughs> it works fine. Uh, yeah, camera, everything. No problems with uh, recording or playing videos. Yeah, it's good for daily use. I sh should say try it out. I think it's one of the best ROMs out there. It's a uh, Helly Bean by a Devil, Der Teufel. It's quick and responsive. And try it out. <laughs>